Hi Leo, welcome to your reading for July 2018. Uh, hope all is well. Um, three card reading, Major Arcana reading towards me with uh, some clarifiers, no doubt. And then um, one from the Swords, one from the Wands, one from the Pentacles and one from the Cups. So let's go see what we get for you. Lovely Leo for the month of July 2018, one final cup. Let's go. The world. Wow. Fantastic place to start. Better place to finish, but a fantastic place to start. The Hierophant, or the High Priest, Il Papa, and the Fool. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, there's um, certainly fruits on the trees. Fruits on the trees this month. I mean, how apt for July. Um... Yeah, and it will still be a uh, birthday season for some of you. Uh, goodness me. Okay, I mean, th this is beautiful. This is beautiful. We've got the last card starting off, the, the last card of the tarot starting the reading and the first card of the tarot ending the reading. So, th okay, something's beginning and ending. This is, this is, wow, what a magical month. And sitting in the middle, Hierophant. So, oh, there's an ordering of things. Uh, your reading for June, Leo, on my channel, in any case, was a real roller coaster. It really, really was. It was pretty manic, really intense. Um, and I guess, you know, from my end of things, whatever was you were kind of like, whoa, going through there in June, in July, beautiful. Order is restored. You're at the end of this process in a fantastic way. I'm so pleased this is in the upright. So, so, so thrilled it's in the upright. They're all, oh God, this is wonderful. There's a new start. There is a new start based upon a whole new, uh, well, not new, necessarily new, but a new order, a new internal spiritual order for you is starting in July. There will be a certain amount of looking back. You know, the fool is always shown sort of looking back over his shoulder and perhaps a little bit of regret or a little bit of, you know, there's the dog yapping at him and he's all a little bit raggedy. However, you know, he doesn't look remotely worried and nor should he and nor would I, Leo, if I, if I had this reading. It is beautiful absolutely beautiful something has come to an end and not come to an end because something awful has happened or perhaps something awful has happened or some awful things have happened but you're not on your knees like smacked up you know so to speak as uh, you know smashed up by events you, oh god i'm so, i'm just thrilled to bits this is one of the most beautiful spreads i think i've ever seen and you may not know it you may not know it but things inside you things are in order in a way that that you haven't experienced before and uh, in a sense, I, yeah, I'm really getting that. It's like brave new world. Seriously, brave new world. Leo, I'm so, oh God, I'm just thrilled to bits. Um, I really don't need to see anything more. And it's it's about what's inside you. You know, it's not about inter, uh, external stuff. It's not about what somebody else can do for you or is doing for you. And No, this is about what's inside you. This is the, the spiritual order. My love, it's wonderful. I'm going to go straight on uh, to the minors. I'm going to pull one now from the swords. Okay, well, yeah, there has obviously been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of battle. That The thing I get from this is that there was a storm and the, the, the clouds are now clearing, but, you, you know, this, this is the battlefield that um, you have recently quit, but you won. <laughs> you know, and even if you didn't win materially or... Um, you know, even if you didn't win the battle, seriously, you've won the war. 
you know, whether you and and um, the other parties involved know it or not. And I would say, because this is in the position of the veil, I would say that it might take you a while to realise what you have actually achieved here. But, you know, everyone's a bit battle-weary at this point. Um, you know, the weapons that we use, the thoughts and the words are kind of scattered here on the ground. But, you, you know, you're holding two of them. And you... I wouldn't say you, you know, this is not a victory card, but the battle is over. But, you know, you might be feeling a little bit raggedy around the edges like this dude here. But, oh, no worries, man. No worries. But, yeah, it's obviously there's been a, 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 a bit of a, oh. Now, sometimes I've got to say the smile on on the face of this person holding the three swords and the other two are there just for him to pick up yeah they're walking away these two characters are walking away they, they've lost sometimes the smile here looks a little bit kind of mean like ha 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 got ye but i'm not seeing it here this is it, it this, this is right whatever this battle was and the fact that you have won it and that these your adversaries have just gone, oh, God, you know what? I, I can't do any more of this. Yeah, see you later. And laid down their swords and walked off the battlefield and left you in the, the, the blustery dawn. <laughs> you know, the day dawning um, after a night, a dark night of the soul. There's a rectitude about this. There's a correctness about this, clearly, from the rest of the reading. But, yeah, you might be feeling a bit knackered. Right, one from the wands. Wow! God, who could have made that up? Ace of wands. So really, this really, really, really does um, chime in. I mean, this this ace is coming coming out magically for you. Yeah, and this is action. This is what you can build now. And this really, really chimes in with the fact that that this order that we see here in the fulcrum card that I think you you probably haven't actually really you're just perhaps just waking up to it through July this is spiritual this is inner and I mean this is a spiritual card okay it's about I mean they're all spiritual cards obviously it's a tarot but um you know it, it's it's the ones it's the club so it's about what you can actually build in the world and um, by your own efforts but it's coming out this cloud it's it like magically appearing for you Oh, Leah, I'm so pleased. Okay, and yep, you are going to be getting down to work. Tap, 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 tap. Knock, 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 knock. You're going to be knocking it out. <laughs> you know, and you can start now. You can, you can, you can start building things and and amassing and and manifesting in a way that you were not able to do before. Because you were fighting this bloody stupid, uh, stupid battle here, um, you're you're going to be free now to to start making a new life for yourself. I, I know that, that sounds so dramatic, but this is what I'm seeing. Okay, and a King of Cups. Right, you're not going to go through this shit again. I mean it. You are. You will not be going through this shit again. You know, there's no equivocation here. He is sitting on stone. And his emotions, the emotional stuff, is flowing underneath the chair. And, you know, he's not sitting on the earth so it can get washed away. He's sitting on stone. And, uh, you know, in... Uh, in one hand... He has his, his sort of like kingly authority. And in the other hand, he, he has the cup. Of course, he has the cup. He's the king of cups. And it does just strike me that his toe is just dipping down into the water. So he's, no matter if he's sitting on stone, he is still in touch with his emotions. But this is a new establishment of emotional order for you after whatever it is you've been through. And I get the feeling this has been a long, long, long process. Um, and the fact that, um, you know, the world is in the upright. I mean, you know, there are quite a few cards in the tarot, in the major arcana that represent 
a kind of restarting of things. I mean, in, ma in many ways, yeah, I mean, the tower does. It all gets knocked down and has to start again. Death does. It all gets swept away. It has to start again. But by God, starting again with the world, it's just... Leo, I am thrilled for you. Whole new phase. Bravo. Bravo. You have fought well. And you have fought justly. And I'm going to leave it there. Please do tune in for another reading in due course. Enjoy. Cheers. Bye-bye.